Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, today is Monday, May 17th already. And it's 2.31 p.m. And I wanted to go ahead and make this video. because I have three sources now of places that have more recalls. And one involves a baby seat. So I thought, okay, I better get this up. All right, so let's start with the first one here I have lined up. is from Food Safety News. This one's about yogurt. Now, I love yogurt, so I really paid attention to this one, but it's not a brand that I use, thank God. I was very grateful. Okay, Dairy Recalls. It just says, Dairy Recalls Yogurt because of likely connection to E. coli outbreak. How do you get E. coli in yogurt? Do y'all know how yogurt is made? I don't know exactly, but I know it doesn't come from meat falling on the floor, which is usually how the E. coli gets... Anyway, we'll move on. By Coral Beach. Okay. I'm having a little trouble seeing today for some reason. Keep me in your prayers, y'all. My vision is perfect, even as my Heavenly Father is perfect. I'm going to declare it in Jesus' name. All right. Pure, I don't know how to say this. It's spelled E-I-R-E, -E, but there's a funny little symbol like it's French or something. Air, ear, ear. You take a guess. Uh, dairy is recalling certain yogurt because state officials reporting it could be because state officials reported it should say that it could be contaminated with E. coli 0157 colon H7 now you know it just hit me do you see how they can number a bacteria all the way down to colon H7 But yet, most, I'm going to say most, although the uh, article I put up on BitChute, the guy says all, viruses, they cannot be seen, even with an electron microscope. They've never seen the you-know-what with the crown, but yet they were able to come up with the you-know-what in just 10 or 11 months. And approve it for emergency use only. Seeing a baby get it, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it was a photo op. Looked like a photo op. I, I don't know. What, I better just zip my mouth and move on. The health department is investigating an outbreak of E. coli infections in Washington. The dairy, it doesn't say Washington State. It's probably the state of Washington. The dairy announced the recall on its Facebook page, saying that it has requested retailers to remove all PCC markets brand and pure air. <laughs> Air. <laughs> However you say that word, E-I-R-E, -E, brand yogurt from sales. A-I-R. I'd rather, <laughs> if, you know, with that little mark above the capital E, I'm just not sure how to say that. Anyway, moving on. The company is also advising consumers to not eat any of the yogurt if they have it in their homes. The recall comes amidst a growing outbreak of E. coli infections in Washington State. As many as 11 people 
across four countries are sick. I'm sorry, counties. <laughs> 11 people across four counties are sick. All but one are children. Interesting. Food safety attorney Bill Marler is representing three of the patients. Hmm. I smell a rat. An attorney is representing three of the patients. Do you smell an ambulance chaser? Okay, I'll move on. A common denominator among the three patients is that they all ate the yogurt, Marler said. He said health department officials have collected samples of yogurt from one of the patient's homes for testing. As of midnight, the Washington Department of Health had not responded to requests for information about the outbreak investigation. The yogurt subject to recall is PCC, organic grass-fed yogurt, in 8 and 16 ounce containers, all flavors and all Best Buy dates are included in the recall, according to a notice on the PCC Markets website. Additional products are listed in the recall as possibly containing the recalled yogurt. Containing the recalled yogurt. Those products are yogurt on the salad bar, buttered chicken from the hot bar, and to-go casseroles, spicy yellow curry chicken from the hot bar, and to-go casseroles, tzatziki sauce from the grain bowl bar to-go spreads, and sticky toffee pudding with the refrigerated desserts. I smell her at, I'm sorry, I just do. Marler said he anticipates additional recalls because the producer packages product under different brands. So if you want to, I mean, that's it. I mean, that's the end of it. So, I mean, if you want to go read it again, I'll leave the link and everything in the description box, like always. The next one was put out by Fox 8. All right. And it's the title is Booster Seats Recalled Over Headrest Issue, Company Says. Yeah, they better get them baby products right. Our little babies depend on us. By Joey Gill, Next Star Media Wire is the name of the publication, but it's got Fox 8 here at the top. Posted May 13th and updated May 13th. All right. WKRN says car seat manufacturer Diono is recalling several models of child booster seats that they say could have broken or separated headrests during the event of a crash. According to the company's recall notice, certain models of Cambria 2 booster seats, quote, failed to comply with the requirements of federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard Number 213, single quote, child restraint symptom systems, closed single quote, 
end of quote. Because a crack between the backrest and headrest can occur in the event of a crash, increasing the risk of injury. Yeah, something like a break in your neck, which can kill you. Most of those seats are made very well and keep children very safe. Have you ever heard of a tornado where the baby was in a car seat and ended up in a tree? A fireman heard a baby crying, looking around at all this destruction. And there's a baby boot, strapped in a booster seat up in a tree, completely unharmed. That was a miracle. But still, you make a good baby seat and it helps. Okay, I just thought I'd throw that in. No extra charge. Okay. Ohio vaccine lottery. Oh, this is disgusting. They just threw this in here. They want to make sure you hear about this. Ohio vaccine lottery. Weekly drawings will be held Wednesday evenings. The affected models include, and then they go on to the rest of the article. It's like a tiny little, not tiny, it's actually bold blue with a one in front of it. Like it's part of the article and it's, it's just makes me want to smack it, but it would hurt my computer and my hand, so I won't. The affected models include 31200-US-01. Oh, oh, Next one. 31201-US-01. Oh, oh, Next one. 31202-US-01. Oh, the company said a little over 6,900 booster seats are affected by this recall. Diono said they plan to notify owners of the affected models and will provide a replacement backrest with headrest assembly to affect to affected customers free of charge. This is why it's so important when you buy a product and you get a little card in there that says, fill this out and return it in the event of a recall or a need to get in touch with you or whatever. Usually it says something about in the event of a recall. Fill that thing out and stick it in your mailbox. I'm bad to not do it, but now I see this, it's a very important thing to do so they can get in touch with you. So you'll get a free something if your item breaks, like my vacuum cleaner. I just use it and let it suck up the dust the best I can because the bar is broken. And I'm not sure which bar to buy, so I haven't bought one. Investigators released, oh, never mind. That's a whole, that's another thing they threw in. The company recommends converting the seat into a backless booster seat until the replacement backrest is installed. Okay. For an older child, that, that might be the answer. But if your baby still needs the head support, you, you certainly might want to consider going and buying something else. I don't know. Can contact the company. Uh, let's see if they have... Um, oh, they got a whole bunch of other stuff here they want to report on. A uh, whole bunch of things here you can watch. Boy, oh boy, if you hit this link, you just got all kinds of stuff. But I don't see a phone number for this company. How, how are you supposed to suggest a correction? Yeah, let me do that right, no right now. Your email. Hmm. 
we need the phone number for the D I O N O. Let me make sure I got that right. Oh, now you can't go to it. Ah, oh, we need the phone number for the Diono. I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, booster seats. How else do we get in get in touch with them? All right. Booster seat manufacturer. Okay. Their article, I'm going to put your article is incomplete. Article is incomplete. Oops, I need an S on is. Okay, submit. Oh, great. It's just sitting there. It says message sent. But then I got a circle with a bar in it. Okay, I'm going to move on and hope that I can still get the what the the the, out, the headline. I can get it through my email. I'll get it again through my email. Okay, here, top class actions. This is the last one. This is recall alert. <clears throat> if you're still using these, two Hand sanitizers recalled over methanol contamination. Do y'all remember me putting up a recall list of numerous hand sanitizers that were made with methanol and other ingredients that we don't need on our skin? It was way back when uh, all the hand sanitizers were getting really hard to get they were selling out like crazy because everybody thought oh this will help kill a virus and they don't they do good to kill some bacteria if they have 90 percent i think it's ethanol alcohol it's, it has to be 90 percent alcohol to do good for bacteria so anyway let me let me go ahead and uh reach part of it anyway by Okay, Sahar Nicolette, May 13th, 2021. Top class actions. And it's that's the name of the publication. Topclassactions.com Lawsuit Settlements Consumer Products Recalls. That's in the, the headline, the URL address. Two companies that make hand sanitizer, Global Sanitizer and Dye Bar, Nutricinol or Nutricinol, have issued recalls on products due to a potentially dangerous methanol contamination. On May 11th, Mexico. It was Mexico before. Mexico-based company, Dibar Nutrition, Nutritional. That's the way I want to say it, but I, I think that's wrong. Nutrition, Nutricanol. With a capital S, D-R-L-D-C-V. Announced a voluntary recall of 27 lots of Dye Bar Labs hand sanitizer for consumers packaged in 8 ounce. Okay, then there's a parenthesis. Here's a number 8 53090 00301 3 UPC. 
closed parentheses, and the 16 ounce is parentheses 8 53090 00302 0 UPC. Closed parentheses fluid ounce bottles that would be 16 ounce fluid 16 ounce 16 fluid ounce bottles according to the US Drug and Food Administration or the FDA recall notice Dibar is also voluntarily recalling two lots of Protector RX hand sanitizer packaged in 2 ounce bottles lot number capital all caps L as in Larry, D as in David, H as in Harold, S as in Sam, N as in Nancy, 050720, close parentheses, <clears throat> 16 ounce uh, fluid, 16 fluid ounce bottles with lot numbers L, D, H, S, N, 050820. So the numbers are LDHSN, 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 050, 050. Uh, one is a 720, one is an 820 at the end. The dye bar products are being recalled after testing conducted by the firm revealed the presence of methanol. Trying to sneak something in that don't belong. <clears throat> okay, I gave you the lot numbers. I'm going to end it here. My voice is giving out for some reason. I'm going to end up sounding like Mrs. Simpson, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> okay, so I'm already at 22 minutes. So listen, the lot numbers... the the URLs will be in the description box. You can look it up later if you want. Okay, bye for now. Talk to you later. <laughs>